Okay, I got that cart loaded with glass and cardboard, and uh, we're heading out. I'm driving one-handed, just so we're going kind of crooked. We're heading out for for uh, Ideal Industries in Richmond, Missouri. That's where our local uh, that's where our local recycler is. It's the the uh, go on girls, hop up, walk up. It's what they call the the uh, sheltered workshop. Um, it's about four and a half miles by the back road, and that's how we're going, because I'm not in the mood to be out in the big traffic today. I'll be checking in with you as we go. Paul, oh, babes. We're going to be trotting some and walking some today. They really need some more exercise than they've been getting, so some trotting is good. It's a cool day. They're not going to overheat. I'm not having them trot right now, because we're going down a steep hill, and it's not good to trot downhill. This is the low water bridge that's fixing across here. And uh, it's about I, it's less than a mile from home. We're not far. I had them trotting, but I was going to try to video it, but I haven't got enough hands to drive and video and trot. I'm alone by myself out here today. My mentor wasn't able to come. She's busy. She gave me a special rock, though, that, that looks out for me when, when I'm in. in uh, the world and I've got that special rock in my pocket so so I you know I'm, I'm not without protection not without assistance it's so sad down here all the trashy people throw all the tires and shit in the creek creeks could be so pretty if America wasn't a dumpster go on girls we're done playing get up here on the flight and I'm gonna ask him to try it again. Funny thing about Clara, she's often lazy and goofing off, but when it's a hard pull, she's got her, she's right up in it. Look at her, she's ahead of missing. She's got a lot of heart. It's just when, when it's just make work, she doesn't care about it, so she just goofs off. She's quite a girl. I don't know how well you can tell slope on these videos, but this is a pretty steep upslope. It's coming up out of the low water bridge, out of the creek bank, or creek at the bottom, you know, creek bed. And uh, so we're going up. Go on, girls. Missy, up, up, clear up. Go on, girls. Yeah, there's my girl. We'll get up here to us. They were. Walk, I, I could walk them down the road and not have to uh, mind the lines at all. They'd just stay in the road. But we've been loafing, you know, scooping off at home. And I've been out working the gasoline mowers instead of these girls. And they're, they've lost a little bit of their sharpest polish. So now I'm having to drive more carefully. They rub the flies off the faces on each other. Go on, girls, get out. I understand. I know. We'll get trotting and it won't be so bad. Go on. Walk up. Walk up. Clara. Hip, 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 hip. Walk up. Go on. Yeah, that's better. Go on. I'll whack you on the butt. Whack. See there? Yes. Here's another one. Whack. Alright girls, hip, try it up, try it up, try it. There we go. Try 
Right on. Right up, back, hip, right on. Up, 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 make it shut up. Come on, shut up. That's my girl.
Walk on. Walk on. Walk. Walk up. Walk up. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, trot. Trot up. Hit trot. Trot, trot. Trot up. Here we go. Up, 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 got up. Back with it. No, okay, keep trying. There we go. Keep walk, walk, walk. There we go. That's it. There I know. There I know. Edge town in Richmond now. We're on pavement. That's the city uh, does the pavement. The county doesn't pave these gravel back roads. This is a pretty steep uphill, and so I ha had them drop down from a trot to a walk. And they're pulling pretty steady. It's uh, deep. It's lots of shade. It's pretty on this hill, and uh, They've trotted almost all the way from home to here, and it hasn't taken us a third of the length of time it would have taken us to walk. And they've trotted quite well, although Missy gets to where she'd rather gallop, which is not acceptable. And it's that's a training issue. She just has more time, more learning to do. Claire, no, honey, don't. I'm going to make new lines that don't slip through my hands like these two. Border the materials. We get up the top of this hill and over, and then we'll we'll be in a residential neighborhood in Richmond, and then we'll go over from there to to uh, Ideal Industries, which is on the old main drag, Thornton, and uh, drop off our stuff. And then we're going to run over and visit Rhonda in, in another residential district in town. So we're just in town for the day in Donkey Power. Uh, it's a pretty good day, a real good day. Actually, I've had a lot of fun. Girls are working well. I'm pleased with the girls today. Clara's really showing a lot more maturity. This this is her maturity year, and it's good. Missy, no, honey. Go on up. Walk on, girls. These lines are so slick, I lose my grip, and then I don't have enough hands to fix it, so I'm going to go here. About four and a half miles from home. We've tried it almost all the way here. This is our local recycle place. I'm going to bring them up here to the corner of this uh, pen here. Go oh, girls. I'm going to tie them right there to that corner. And empty. Rhonda sat in her place for a while, visited, tied up to her front porch, came back out on the highway up, up through and including the 45 mile an hour park. Now we're out on Valley Road on the edge of town. And uh, this is the way home. We've had a successful day. My girls have been great. We've been very happy with them. 
I have my guardian rock. There's a story goes with that rock. It comes from a special person, and that's what makes it garden. So, that's the day. It's a good one. Okay, we're on the edge of Richmond on Valley Road. We're heading home. We've been out. We've been about um, three hours since we left the house. Uh, we've been through downtown Richmond. We've run actual errands. Walk up, girls. We trotted most of the way into town. We trotted most of the way around town. I'm extremely pleased with my girls today. But I'm, uh, this is a long, steep upgrade here. This is Water Tower Hill, in fact. This road is called Valley Road or Valley View Road. And, and uh, when you come around over the Water Tower Hill, you look at a great big valley, and that valley extends back over towards our place, our place is kind of on the next high, next high rise, next high hill. Now they would trot up this uh, much slope, but I'm not asking them to, because they've trotted a lot today, and and uh, I'm extremely pleased with them. I don't see any reason to push them. If we get back out on the flats, I may trot them some more, just cause makes a big difference on how long it takes us to get to town. It takes a long, long time at this pace. When they trotted, uh, we made it into town in not too long at all. I think under an hour. That's pretty good. Four and a half miles. Go ahead, step up there, honey. Don't make your mom do all the work. You, get up there. Accelerate Missy too, so that they still stay in this off balance pull. Claire, step up. Claire, don't do what you're about to do. There you go. Yeah, they were on a steeper pull, Claire's pulling harder. She, she she consistently pulls when she's got, you know, when the work is hard. Yeah, she's a little behind now, but not too bad. But she pulls better when the work is hard than she does when it's just half-assed. You know, she's, she's just willing to lollygag along there and let Missy do all the light work and then only help when it gets hard. Clark, 
get up. There, go on. Yeah, I know, I hear it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, Clark, with that. Go on. I know he's got a lot of stuff. No, Clara, quit it. Just walk right on. It's all fine. Nothing's gonna get. You. There you go. That's good. Go on, Clara. Get up. Yeah, that's better. Go on. No, 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 Missy. Both of you, go on. You want a whack in the butt, you guys? Go on, pull it. Try up. Go on, try it on, try it on, try it on. Hip, hip, hip. Try it on, Missy. Try it up. Yeah, that's better. Try up, try up, try up, go on. Try on. Try on. Try on. Try on. Up, up, up. Girls, you ain't hurt. Go on, try up. Missy, try. 
Whoop, 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 trot, trot, trot. You can do this. All right, walk easy. Walk easy, I know, it's uphill. It is, couldn't beat it. We've been all the way into Richmond, around the square, out visiting friends, and us heading home. too steep to let them trot down on gravel. They could lose their footing and fall. Usually I would use the wagon brakes to help them, but right now I'm making them learn that they're breaking, so they're doing it all. The wagon has hydraulic brakes. Look here, this roadside. This is a this is a climate change roadside. It's a, a high energy, high CO2 roadside. The uh, roadside vegetation has, you know, always been basically kind of crap that the people who built the roads didn't really want, but they couldn't keep it from growing. But what happens is that as as the temperature increases, as the energy level in the ecosystem increases, and as the amount of CO2 increases, that changes the nature of the roadside because not all plants uh, are equally able to, to benefit from a high CO2 atmosphere. You know, CO2 is, quote, a fertilizer or whatever, but... You know, like poison ivy just loves it, and uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, imported vines, non-native vines, growing here that just love it, and uh, giant ragweed just loves it. And so, you get um, you get plants that don't much 
like that excess. Easy, baby. No, baby, don't come over here. No, don't come over here and make trouble. Easy girl, easy girl, easy girl. Gently, gently. That's my girl, good girl. That's my girl, good girl. Big dog emergency. So, so you know, I mean, I've been driving up and down these roads um, in, in something, you know, bicycles, cars, something now for mm, 65 years. Uh, and uh, I can tell you that, that the, the, the general run of the, of, of the roadside vegetation has changed a lot over the course of that 65 years. It doesn't look like it did. Because um, we changed the whole ecosystem, and and uh, what lives in an ecosystem is is what is is best equipped to harvest the energy in that ecosystem. And uh, we don't think of it that way, but that's what it is. I mean, every every plant and every animal evolved. To harvest ecosystem energy and make of that its life and as the energy flows change as the gas you know nature of the atmosphere changes as the amount of thermal energy changes and also the amount of, of kinetic energy wind energy and, and uh, the volume and intensity of the rains all of this changes with the uh, adding energy to the to the overall ecosystem we tend to think of it because that's how our, how our information, uh, our infotainment industry tells us to think about it in terms of temperature uh, and, and uh, that's a factor, but it's not a sole factor. And so we, you know, we, we've changed the world a lot. That noise makes worry and Clara, and I think it's good for her to get exposed to it. What's going on, Donnie? Pretty good. Taking advantage of this cool day, I see you are too. She's not going to be a problem. Do what? I got it for sale. I got all of it. I got the hydraulic part and the, and the mounting thing and everything. It's for something smaller. It's for like a a, a, a Bronco two or something. Uh three hundred. Stop by and take a look. Yeah. Uh, I just piled it there. I got to get rid of the hay baler, but I just piled the blade there because I needed to mow the spot it was sitting in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? So, but the blade's for sale. The hay baler's, it's, it's got a busted knotter in it. The whole baler's not worth the price of a new knotter. Oh, man, I tell you, I did everything. I went through the book. I went through everything in that baler from one end to the other, made it absolutely new, and 30 minutes later, the knotter broke, and I said, you're fired. <laughs> you know? Take it easy. I'll see you. Walk up, girls.
baby. You got the bugs on your belly. Dog on them anyway. I know, honey. Go on. You get away from them. Shut up. Hep, hep, shut. Whoop. Shut up. Got up. Got up. Down here on the left, there's a couple little evergreens. We've had a wreck there before. We've had a couple wrecks there before. They kind of scare Clara. They're dark on this side. You can see how this goes. I think it'll do be better than before. Nope, Clara. Nope, nope. driving these girls. It took me about, I don't know, six weeks maybe to ever get, I was driving Missy by herself. I hadn't started breaking Clara yet, so Missy was out solo. And uh, it probably took me six weeks before I ever got her across these railroad tracks. It's not very far from the house to these tracks, and we drive up here, and she refused to go across them, and I'd go back home. But we just did it, you know, and it, it uh, I didn't make a big stink out of it so that it wouldn't be a big crisis when she failed. And then uh, after several weeks of working with it, why, uh, Sydney came over and she brought Tony Hawk and he's really broke to death, good, 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 good driving animal. And uh, I had uh, Missy on a cart and Sydney had Tony Hawk on a cart. And when Tony Hawk accepted, you know, Sydney was across the track, why? 
missed it too. You know, she followed Pony Hawk. And so that was how we got here. And, and you know, of course, we missed our player across the road. Okay, girls, try to hit him. Try to try to. You can do this, honey. You can do it. Shut up. There you go. Good girl. Good baby. Good baby. Yes, it's just cows. Go on. Try it on.
hard to bring the road edge and the, and the drop off there into the creek, so we'll have to crowd this a little bit. Go on, sir, you can do this. Walk up, girl, go on. Go on, walk up. That's my girl, sir. That's my Good girl, that. Good girl. Okay, try it up. Try it on. There we go. That's my girl. This is our property here on the left, and so basically we're home. Walk up the old drone fence row belongs to me. Behind that is the area that I have long called the the uh, thorn forest and uh, it's pretty grown up and we're about home we got this, this hill to go up we live on top of this hill These girls know where i'm up to home they know where donkeys always know exactly where home is from wherever they are you know i mean if i was if i was in richmond with this wagon falling down drunk, you could just pour me into the back of it, point the girls at home, and whack them on the ass, and tell them to go home. If, if there wasn't car traffic, they could do it without batting an eye, you know. I, I don't know how well they adapt to the car traffic. They don't really, you know, I try to speak for them when we're around cars, but they know we're home. They know we're back home. Sorry, don't do it, honey. What she likes to do, the flies get on her face and she wants to rub them off against Missy's neck, and I don't blame her. But it's just, you know, then she gets over there and she's silly and she starts fighting Missy's flies. So, you know, it's that silly stuff. She's a little bit silly. comes a little yap yap. Hello little yap yap. What's going on Sid? Hang on a minute, I got a video running. gasoline mower and do some mowing and not feel guilty because I haven't done anything in my dog. That makes me feel good. 
feel that. We needed a good day to get it in a few years, but I'm sure it's pretty good. That was with absolutely no use of the reins whatsoever. That was just 100% verbal. Because she knows we're home. You know, she knows this is our driveway. But uh, the way that you train them to do things verbally is, is give them instructions to do what they were probably going to do anyway. But then they associate the action with the word. And that's the objective here is to get the word and the action associated. So, Hello, Ben. Have a good dog. Yes, you're a big goof, you are. Yes, you better look out for her. Yes, you better. Right there, perfect, perfect, right there, come back. Oh, right there, that G, Missy G up, honey. Come G around, come G around a little bit. Come on, no, G more. That's good, let's see how we're doing. Okay, come back now. Okay, G now more, Missy G. G uh, no, huh, whoa, whoa. 
Missy G right up to that thing. I, I, I know, but here, step up, 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 step up, step up. That's my girls. A little more. Up and up. Another step. That's my girls. That's it. Hold right there. Now, Missy G. G, honey. That's good. Hold right there. Perfect. Hold right there. Okay, now come back. Come back. That's good. Ah, uh, one step. Now come back. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Good girl. Oh, that's so good. Yes, my girls are so good. Yes, you are. You're perfect. Hold right there. Yes, you're perfect. Alrighty. They put it right there. Let's place it back there too. Stand right there. No, stand right there. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's the spot they back there. I think they're pretty impressive. Yes, you're right. You need goodies. There's some for you. Where's your face? There it is. There's your goodies. Oh, there's my babies. You're good girls. You're the best girls there are. Yes, you are. Both of you. Poor babies. All these damn flies. No wonder you're so busty. I'm sorry, babies. Okay.